so this just came today, the Fantasy Jewel Blue Lion. So I was going to do a quick overview and comparison to the uh, the Solo Chagokin Blue Lion, the GX71. But as you can see, they kind of changed the box up a bit, which actually looks pretty cool. This one is kind of, uh, I guess that represents water. Looks like it's showing off his element. The old boxes were just black with a picture of the lion. So I actually like the new box. And you can see on the back of the old boxes, just said Fantasy Jewel. And this one in green. And this one's got some kind of cool Voltron art that I actually like. So right off the bat, the box gives a very good first impression. Take it out of the box, take a look at it. Show you how it comes. So that's how it's packaged, and it looks like you got your mouth weapon and the two side weapons. And then it comes with these blue plastic pieces, which are, I guess they're supposed to be stands for the lines. All of them seem to have come with this. these things. I don't know, I don't use them. better packaging than the last two. The last two just had like cellophane covering the top. You see they put a plastic tray on top this time. And we'll take a quick look, see how it looks in the package. I can see somebody else pointed out that the the silver on the legs or the chroming was kind of messed up. And in this one it does too. It looks really rough. I don't know if you can see that. That's right out of the package and that doesn't rub off. It's really rough looking. It's not, it's not smooth. I did see a picture of the yellow lion that's supposed to come out, and I'll, I'll probably post that up so you can take a look at the picture. But And let's take it out and take a quick look. Okay, so here are the two lions together, the uh, Solo Chagokin GX71 and the Fantasy Jewel on the right. We're going to start by taking a look at the weapons and looking at the differences to the style of weapons. Okay, so here is the mouth weapon for the Solo Chagokin, and here is the mouth weapon for the Fantasy Jewel. And you can see there's a little bit different sculpting. You can see like this is raised right here. This one is indented. You can see that this one has more pronounced ridges, but doesn't have any kind of molding inside. It's just flat in here. This one has a little bit of molding in here and the ridges are not as pronounced. Underneath the connector is blue for the Fantasy Jewel and on the Solar Chagokin it's the gray color. It's a little bit of different molding there. Okay, the Fantasy Jewel, one of the shoulder weapons, and the Soul of Chagokin. Right off the bat you can see on the Fantasy Jewel this piece is a little bit larger and there's less detailing on this on the top part here. And on the Sola Chagokin, smaller and a little bit more detailing. One thing that I've noticed is if you look inside the Sola Chagokin and now look inside the Fantasy Jewel, they have screws in there. I don't know if you can see that. Able to focus on it better. Yeah, there we go. And the Solo Chagokin, no screws, it's just smooth in there. You can see a little bit of the seams where it was snapped together. And there's a little bit less detailing in there. I mean, it's just got a little bit of uh, design right there on the back. Pretty similar, larger openings here, smaller here, and you can see this, the seam is more, not closed together as much as this one. You can still see the seam on the Solo Chagokin, but the Fantasy Jewel, you can really see the seam. 
Okay. So the other shoulder weapon, the Solar Chagokin, oops, oops, uh, Solar Chagokin, and the Fantasy Jewel. And these two look very similar. You can, just like there's a little bit of detailing differences up top, right there, compared to there. And underneath, you can see it's more clean or more pronounced here. What I think they're doing is, I don't, I don't think they're creating their own mold. What I think they're doing is they're molding this piece creating molds from this piece and when you do that you'll like lose some detailing so then they're going back in and they're re-sculpting with the detailing they're losing from making a mold from this that's what I think they're doing that's why I think the, the moldings end up different same with the uh, the lions anyway let's move on to the lines there's the, uh, the accessories okay so right off the bat The Fantasy Jewel feels a lot rougher than, of course, the Solar Chagokin. The Fantasy Jewel, right when you handle it, you can feel that it, you can hear it, and you can feel that it's just floppy. The legs aren't sturdy, they're floppy. Whereas the Solar Chagokin, much more sturdy. And you, you know, you can feel hear the little bit of the plastic, but this one, you can really hear pieces just flopping around when you're picking it up. Weight feels very similar. Um, another difference I've noticed is the color blue is not, the, you probably can't notice it on the camera, but it is not as, this is more of a lighter blue, this is more of a darker blue. But they're pretty close. The same with the yellows. Uh, the yellow on the Sola Chagokin is a little little bit darker than the yellow on the Fantasy Jewel, although that's not true in some parts. Some parts are a little bit darker and some parts are a little bit lighter on the Fantasy Jewel. Another thing I noticed about the Fantasy Jewel right off the bat is that this, and I've heard other people have this problem, I cannot bring that up. Like, there's the Sola Chagokin, no problem. There's the weapon. This one is stuck. That's it. I can't bring that up any further than that, which I'll probably end up breaking it in order to... I'll fiddle with it, see if I can fix it, but I've seen other people have that problem too. Like I said, you can feel the build on this is a lot rougher. For instance, turning the head is real smooth on the Solo Chagokin. On this one, you can hardly do it, and when you do do it, you can hear it creaking. If you take the head off can see that the, the, the way that they connected this hexagonal connection is pretty similar to the Solar Chagokin. But the Solar Chagokin, I, it, right off the bat, is just feels much smoother. But anyway, we'll take a look at the heads and I'll keep them off the figure for a moment while we take a look. They're pretty similar. I mean, you can see, especially on the side, you can see it's a, there's a little bit more gapping here than on the Solo Chagokin. Um, on the side, you can see the detailing is just a little bit different on the... Uh, These are a little bit more sculpted. I don't know how to say it, but you can see the detailing a little bit more pronounced than you can on this one. Not a lot of difference, but when you see, see it with the naked eye, you can you can tell. Very, but not by much. And if you look at the uh, the ridges here on this one in the center, they're a little bit closer together than this one. I mean, at minor. But like I said, I, I do think they're just making a sculpt from off the, uh, making a, a mold from this and then going back in and, and retouching um, 
the eyes pretty similar the uh, the, one, the solar chagokin if you look you can tell the eyes are a little bit larger than the fantasy jewel they're smaller other than that the little silver piece is the same this one is a little bit larger on the fantasy jewel than it is on the solar chagokin not very noticeable but it's there uh, let's look inside the mouth Try to get this to focus. Okay, so here's the two. The fantasy jewel. It does have the missile, but if you look towards the back of the missile, I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to get the light back there. There is less detailing on the missile piece. Than there is on the solar jewel. Can you see the ridges? And in the center, all the little ridges and everything towards the back, the lines and everything. The Fantasy Jewel is pretty much just smooth. But the missile is there. The teeth. The upper teeth seem a little bit sharper on the, the Solo Chagokin than the Fantasy Jewel. And you can see that the upper teeth don't look as long. Anyway, that's the heads. I'm going to put it back together show you the differences in the body. Okay, here's the two lions. We'll take a look at the sculpting of the bodies. Uh, so right off the bat, let's talk about the, uh, the jaw, when you, the sole chagokin when you close it. You can feel it's kind of spring-loaded. This one is not spring-loaded. It's still tight, but it's not a spring-loaded jaw. Um, you, I'll show you real quick here. If you look at the the quality of the Solar Jagokin as compared to the Fantasy Jewel. When you press down on this one, you see when I move it and everything, everything's just pretty much, I'm pressing down on the, it's pretty much just staying in. But if you press down on the, uh, the Fantasy Jewel, you can see the legs just, they're floppy. They don't hold their shape and they're just all over the place. You don't get that with the Solar Jagokin. It's tight. But again, it's a bootleg. So what can you really expect? Um, you can also, obvious difference right away is the tails. I don't like that they're using the same tail that they did at the red and green lion. I don't know why they just didn't sculpt this. They sculpted everything else. I would have liked, preferred the yellow tail on the blue lion, but that's what they gave us. Uh, so, sculpting though is very similar. And probably gonna take all right, now we're gonna go over the sculpting of the bodies, the similarities and dissimilarities. Anyway, we will start with the backs here. If you look on the Solo Chagokin, you can see the detailing towards the tail is different from the Fantasy Jewel, which has these kind of like rectangular pieces here towards this piece, but they don't have the um, sculpting close to the tail. You see that difference? Um, as for the sides, the Fantasy Jewel also has this release button for when you have it connected as Voltron. So you can release the black lion. And if you look on the Solo Chagokin, you can see that the sculpting is a little bit more detailed. They have these uh, ridges in here, a uh, little square piece here. Here's the Fantasy Jewel is just smooth with none of that sculpting. Um, I've mentioned it already, but you can see on the chrome on the Fantasy Jewel, the, it's just really rough. It's not very attractive. <laughs> It looks sprayed on and it looks sloppily done. But if you look on the Solo Chagokin, much smoother, more mirror-like. If you look, you can even see my reflection 
Whereas in here, you cannot see me, my reflection. It does not reflect. It's it's just really rough. It's You can kind of see up in here a little bit of reflection, but you can't tell any detail. So you can see the, the, that's one big difference is the chroming. Um, the undersides look pretty much the same. Do the other side. And then it's the same with the Fantasy Jewel being smooth and the Solo Chogoking having some detail. And as I did mention um, already that mine, the piece does not, extend, the weapon does not extend all the way as it does on the Solo Chogokin. Uh, one other obvious difference is the piece that extends down when it's in Voltron mode to give him more stability while standing is black. Um, I have read or heard people mention that the one on the Solo Chogokin is plastic. I think I only read it in one place. And the one on the Fantasy Jewel is metal. That is not true. They're both metal, just that the Solo Chogokin is painted black and the Fantasy Jewel is chromed. Sloppily chromed, but it's chromed instead of painted black. Okay, we'll go over articulation real quick. Okay, so let's go over the articulation. The articulation is pretty similar in both of them. Um, I will say up front that the the joint or whatever ratcheting systems that they're using in the Solo Chogokin is much higher quality than in the, the Fantasy Jewel. You can feel it and you can hear it where it's kind of rough and not very smooth moving. In the Fantasy Jewel, it's a lot more smooth and uh, softer clicking where this one is. You can really feel it. Like I think they just tighten the joints to make it ratchet rather than put good ratchets in there. But anyway, on the... Uh, Sorry if it's getting dark, it's getting cloudy out, and I'm using the window as light. So the Chagokin, you have the the body break in the towards the rear or the center so that you can put him in sitting mode. You have the swivel up top. So you have more uh more able to stand, do like a, a, the A pose or the spread leg pose in Voltron mode. Um, of course, you have the head articulation up and down and side to side. The legs extend out. On the uh, Solo Chogokin. The only thing that I see that this one, this one has all the same articulation, the Fantasy Jewel, but it doesn't have like on the uh, feet where it has, you can kind of turn them left to right and up and down. This doesn't have the left and right movement. It does have the up and down though. But anyway, we'll go ahead and take a look at the Fantasy Jewel. It does have the side to side up front. does have the body break in the center but you can now I don't know if you can hear it but it's rough it kind of hitches right here and you kind of give it you got to give it a where's this one see it's a lot smoother joint a lot smoother joint and of course the head articulation is the same it's just really hard to turn at least on mine you can hear it and I pop the head off there you go yeah it's just it's just 
it's not as clean as a solo Chagokin. And again, the floppy legs on the Fantasy Jewel. But they do extend out. They just don't hold the pose as nicely as the Solo Chagokin. And of course the tail articulation. I don't know why they didn't do the yellow tail on the Fantasy Jewel. They did the, the same gray plastic that they did on the red and green lion. But I would have preferred the yellow tail. Okay, so here's all three of the Fantasy Jewel Lions. The red, the blue, and the green, and their weapons. I did already break the tail on the red line. I just broke it now trying to put <laughs> these together. These are really cheaply made. What they did, they changed the tails. I wish they just sculpted the, the original tails or copied the original tails. They gave you these because there's, you know, articulation to them. Oh, cool, but they're really cheaply made and chintzy. But anyway, here's the red, the blue, and that's as far as I can extend that. I do see what the problem is underneath it. Um, the plastic piece underneath is wider than the red above it, so you can't pass it. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit in a minute, talking about the quality control of all these. And here's the green lion with its weapons. Okay, so should you get these? I'm going to tell you straight up, they're, you're never going to mistake these for the Solo Chagokin. The quality is not as high as the Solo Chagokin, and there's obvious differences, sculpting and corners cut, that you can see if you watch my other reviews. Uh, for instance, the Red Lion's head was just repainted for the Green Lion. It's not the Green Lion from the SOC, from the Solo Chagokin. It's just the Red Lion's head repainted. So that's one of the corners they cut. The quality control, you know, it's... Obviously, it's not as good as the Solo Chagokin. You can see with the chroming on the blue lion especially, it's not very good. Uh, the legs are very floppy. They're not very tight. The joints, you can tell the joints are not as sturdy, or they're not using the same quality uh, joints as the Solo Chagokin. Um, paint apps are not bad on them. They, the paint apps actually look, do look pretty good. I do wish they would have at least used the yellow tail on the blue lion. Um, one of the concerns I do have is it's obvious that they're sculpting one lion at a time. In other words, they didn't create a sculpt for all five lions, make sure that they all connect properly, and then just produce one at a time. The sculpt for the black lion doesn't even exist yet. When the red lion was produced, the sculpt for the black, uh, green lion didn't exist yet. They sold the red lion, then they sculpted this one. They sold this one, and then they sculpted the blue lion. That's why it took so long to come out. And if you see, there's pictures now of the yellow lion, but when they announced them originally, they show concept drawings. So the black lion isn't even sculpted yet. So as quality control goes, as you can see here, we might be disappointed in the fact that Will these even connect to the black line properly? Because when I looked at the, uh, especially the green and the, the red, these are a little bit thicker. The connectors, they're not as smooth. They're kind of rough. So maybe you can connect them and you can't disconnect them, or maybe they just won't connect at all. Who knows? Um, so if you're looking to get these, you might want to wait till they all come out to see if they will connect up as Voltron. And at that point, I think maybe maybe the manufacturer will release a box set. Maybe they'll correct any problems they're having with these right now because there's a lot of quality control issues with this blue lion um, right up. It's a lot more complicated than the first two that came out. But um, they're not bad. If you're just looking to pick, you know, maybe you're looking for a second Solo Chagokin or something that you can f play around with, pull 
part put together and you don't want to touch your Solus Jigokin, you know, this might not be a bad set. If you're looking to get the Solus Jigokin and you missed it, you don't want to pay the price for it, so you're thinking that these will replace them, yeah, maybe. I don't think you'll be happy in the long run because you can obviously see the differences and it's clear that these are just not the same quality of the Solus Jigokin. I think you'll always want that one, and hopefully one day they reproduce, this, uh, Bandai reproduces the Solo Chigokin. I know Big Bad Toy Star had it up again for like 450 which is a better price than eBay has them right now for like 700 and above. But I do like what they did with the new box. I do like the new art. So they put a lot of work into the new boxes. I like this Voltron. That's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, leave a comment below, any questions, feel free to ask. The yellow line, as far as I know, is coming out at the end of this month, September. That's what uh, I've read. There is a picture of the yellow line. I will try to include it at the end of this video. But anyway, thanks for watching.